Okay, let's look at the view modes and trace line capability of Fireplotter. Now, to understand that, we need to look at the session table in more detail. So, for example, let's understand the column. So, let's look at the direction column is telling us the direction of the session, whether it was initiated uh, inbound, i.e. from the outside of the firewall, um, or whether it was initiated outbound, uh, started from the inside of the firewall going out. We have the service or destination port, which is the actual service or protocol that's passing through the firewall, things like web browsing, email, secure web browsing. We have the number of sessions that is actually passing through the firewall for that particular type of service. We have the source IP address that it is coming from. The brackets means that we're looking this up and now we've found some information about this because this connection has just come in. Um, when there's three dots in the source IP address column or indeed the destination IP address column, this means we have more than one address here and we'll be explaining that more in the uh, zoom and filters part of this presentation. We have the source port, we have the destination IP address the traffic's going to, we have the IP protocol, the in bytes per second, i.e. the rate of throughput, the out bytes per second, um, the cumulative in bytes being totaled up, the cumulative out bytes. Now what I can show you is that Fireplotter is currently in basic view mode. And what this means is, is that we are currently listing just a few standard protocols, key protocols that most people would be interested in in this list. So we're not showing every single session that's passing through the firewall at this point. And in fact, we can actually see that because in this case, this firewall has got a total of 142 sessions passing through it. But actually, in the session table, we're only seeing 10, and that would be the addition of this column at the moment. Now, we're actually only listing these protocols. So ping, file transfer protocol, email, DNS, web browsing, email with POP3, secure web browsing, and remote desktop. And we're also using something called the trace line. And notice the colors. Uh, the colors match up to the protocols in the graph, so, th so there's a correlation there. But the trace line is very interesting and very important. When Fireplotter is monitoring traffic, it's always it's, it's useful to know what is the highest bandwidth consumer, what, which of the traffic is the highest bandwidth consumption. And if it's one of these services, then it'll stay the color that it is. So if it was web browsing, it would be green, for example. But if there is traffic passing through the firewall that is not in this list, then we assign it this uh, uh, cyan color, the trace line color. So you would be able to see, if you're seeing a blue line of this color go on the Fireplotter graph or in the session table, this is telling you that there is some traffic that's passing through the firewall that is uh, the top bandwidth user that is not these sessions. So if we switch back to Fireplotter, we can see the standard sessions like email and web browsing, but here we can see syslog. And this is being listed, and it's this color blue, because this is the top bandwidth consumer inbound on this particular firewall at the moment. So this is a really easy way to spot uh, a high level of traffic of something that may be unexpected that you wouldn't expect to see. Now, if we are in basic view mode, what we can do, if we want to now see all the sessions, so instead of seeing just nine, we would like to see everything to do with all 139 sessions, I can right-click and I can select advanced view mode. So we've now switched to advanced view mode. And now you can see that we are listing 139 or 140 of 140 sessions. So all the sessions are listed here. And so we can scroll down and see what all of those sessions are. Now if I just pause Fireplotter for a moment, we can also see that in the session table, all of these columns, we have the ability to reorder them. So if I wanted to see now the top sessions, I can click on that column and it's now going to show me the top number of sessions, which in this case is SNMP through this firewall. And you can see that it's very useful. If I want to see the top in bytes that's coming through this firewall, then I can see that very easy. If I want to order the 
cumulative outbites. I can see that very easily also. So you can see we have a very powerful capability with understanding what's going on with the traffic with our, our firewall. And then if I just want to right click and go back to basic view mode, then we've got the summary view again, just see nine sessions of the 142.